Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your early Sunday message. Uh, in honor of Halloween, Sam Hain. I hope everybody had a, a happy uh, day, safe. Thank you so much for being here, Virgo. So we're going to be using the Dark Mansion Tarot because it's Halloween and, well, they're Halloween-y. And I'm going to be pulling a spellcasting oracle card. I will uh, show you the spell in case you'd like to take a screenshot, but I won't read the whole thing. So Virgo, thank you so much for being here. Please, if you enjoy the reading or if it resonates, I said it right, <laughs> please like, subscribe, and if you like, leave me a comment. Leave me a comment. Oh boy. Boy, Virgo, you're getting the best. I speak it a broken English again, too. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Messages for Virgo for this week. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Put you aside. Okay, and we're going to do the seven. I don't know why it's always seven. Occasionally it's a different number, but that's the number they put in my head. That's the number I do. So seven messages for Virgo. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I have a very strange thought, and I don't know. He's going to think I'm a little bit nutty, maybe, but... As I was doing the shuffling, I was seeing a bandage on my finger. Anybody out there, Virgo, cut their finger? I know that sounds stupid. But if you did, you have to tell me in the comments because it just I see these strange things and I don't understand them. It's either a bandage or something yellow or I don't know. There's something on your right pointer finger though. I don't know. Oh, hey, Virgo, it's you, the hermit. Bum, bum, bum. This is you showing up. Ooh, strong. And the star? Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. Hmm. Possibly getting some attention. Judgment. Judgment is that card that always throws me and makes me go, wait, what does that mean again? <laughs> so sorry. Oh, caramba. <laughs> sorry, Virgo. Okay, I actually forgot who I read for in the beginning and thought I titled one of them wrong. So let me see here. <sighs> so judgment. Okay, so we have the star. Could be, like I said, dealing with an Aquarius. The star card is um, pouring forth creativity, a new idea, hope, inspiration from an unexpected source. So maybe Virgo and, you know, the Virgo, the hermit always has the light, which could be like your inner light. And maybe, you know, you're looking within and maybe you're inspired. Something, you know, inside you says, wow, you know, so change is natural and balanced and a bright future is in store with the star. Well, that's awesome. Then you have judgment. And uh, this is the suggestion of the final judgment. Doesn't mean that it's your final judgment, hermit, hermit. Virgo. Jeez Louise, sorry. Uh, the card of transformation. A fresh start is possible. Possible. It's time to forgive and forget or perhaps to do some soul searching. A promotion may be in the works. So to me, I really feel like it's almost like you're looking for your inner light. And if you do that, you have the opportunity for a new start. And then you get the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles... <laughs> Look at that horse. It's like he's saying, I have to do what? And he's looking over this giant, I can't help it. All I want to say is crevasse. I know that, don't know why, but that's what's coming to my mind. But he is slow, but he gets the job done. So this to me says, if you've made the decision to make that change after doing that soul searching, after looking inside and deciding you want or need a new beginning, you're gonna do it, but it's not gonna happen fast. It's gonna be slow. And if you look at that horse, he looks tired already. So to me, it's almost like saying, Virgo, you're tired, um, weary. And the next card you got is the Four of Pentacles. He is so stuck in one spot, holding on to those pentacles. In some of the things they call him the miser <laughs> because he's just thoroughly planted where he is. And it's not necessarily where he should be. 
He's just holding on for dear life. He can't loosen his grip on certain material things, but he needs to if he wants to move forward. So if you want to make this change that you seem to have found within you that you want to make a new start, it's going to take some time, but you have to make the change. Whatever you want to change, you can't just keep holding on to it. <laughs> it just won't work, you know? So let's see. Can we get some clarifiers? Well, I think we know what we're talking about. You know what we're talking about, right, Hermit? Hermit Virgo. <laughs> God, I don't drink or anything. It's just dopey. Mercury Retrograde is doing some weird stuff. Oh, boy. Okay, we're stopping there. Okay, so there's a lot of cards here, Virgo. This is not a quick message, apparently. It's a short story. <laughs> not even a short story. So we have you working on yourself, knowing that you want to make a change and having a hard time with it. But look at that. You got the sun. This means make the change, let go, and the sun. This is, this is you know, how does it feel to stand in the sun? It feels wonderful. It's fresh. It's happy. It's just, it's wonderful. Um, the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is like saying, you're going to make this change. And it's it might be hard because you're going to have to leave some things or some people behind. Whatever change you make, you know, when you change, it's like, whenever you make changes to something, there are people who fall away. And with all the retrogrades and everything, there were people who, who come back. But, and then with the full moons and everything, the way the cycles go, we bring people into our lives and sometimes they have to leave. And what this says saying right now is that you need to make these changes. If you want to move forward, you're going to have to know that there are, you're going to win. You will make the change you want to, you want to make and it's worth it, but some people will fall away. Then you have the queen of cups. And like I always say, the queen of cups to me is just full of emotion and and she's very focused on this. So to me, it's like saying, whatever your goal is, you're very focused on it. But I think that you're very in your feminine side, whatever it is, it's very emotional for you. And you've been through it. You know, whatever this is, you have paid your dues. This is the nine of wands, nine of rods. You know what's happening. This is the worst part of it. You're, in the book, it says the eye of the storm. So... You're like, you're like this horse. You've seen it. You've done it. You know it's coming. You're prepared, but you've definitely been, you've, you're battle worn. Death card. That's the best card of all here because you know what it says? It reaffirms this change, the judgment card, the new beginning. This is death to whatever you're changing. You can change whatever it is. And you have the moon card. You're, you're afraid to make the change. Which, who wouldn't be? And that's just reiterating to me, it's reiterating the four of, of pentacles. Being afraid to let go. Change is frightening. You're going to be leaving people behind because whatever this change is, change always brings things that are uncomfortable. But if you do, you can look towards the future again. I mean, look at that. He's got the world in his hand and he's looking out into the ocean. What can I do next? The world opens up if you make this change. And the last card is the Knight of Swords. <laughs> and you can go rushing out into the world as the Knight of Swords. Maybe you're making this change. Now, the Knight of Swords is also known as the shine, Knight in Shining White Armor, I think. Did I say that right? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Sir Land of Lancelot, defender of chivalry, skilled warrior, rushes into situations that way in consequences. Charming Get some charm, get some nothing, but I, it, it's really funny. And I, I think that when you look out into the world is this is how you want to see yourself. That's, that's what it seems like to me. I mean, you've been through it. It's been rough and it looks like one hell of a cycle, Virgo, but it looks like it's worth it. So I say do it, you know, but you can do it, right, Virgo? So here we go. Let's get you a spell casting oracle card. So whatever change you're looking to make, it's a whole new you. I mean, 
You go from, look, this, this guy, the Knight of Pentacles, look at to him. Who do you want to be? I know who I want to be. I want to be him. Which, by the way, it could also be an air sign. Because the Knight of Swords is air, which is uh, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So, let's see here. Maybe there is a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini who will help you. So, let's see. Spell casting oracle cards. Can I get a card for Virgo? I'm so sorry. I wanted to call you the Hermit again. Card. Let me see. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. This is the card. What you get? <laughs> Willpower. I don't know what you're doing, but to me, it looks like you're changing a habit because willpower to me is like, look at that. And there it is, the full moon. So maybe you're starting your journey around the time of the full moon, which would be today. And this is, or maybe because it's behind her, maybe you've already started it, but look at that. The world is in front of her. To me, this is saying, if you make this change, the whole world opens up. Just like here, two of spades. So let's see what the book says. Okay, willpower. Huh. An addiction is out of control. That's exactly what I was thinking because that's exactly what this looks like. Seek professional help. Definitely what you need if that's what's going on. Consider eating healthy and exercise. Don't give in. Determination will see you through. You're nearly there. Now, I don't know if you realize it here. We're going to let this so you can screen shoot the uh, spell if you like, Virgo. But I believe your reading has had codependency more than once when I do the love readings. So this to me means that somebody out there needs to hear this. Get help. You have value. And even if you can't see it now, if you have the wheel, the wheel, sorry, the willpower to get through this, you'll see it. It's just not going to be easy. But Virgo, whoever needed to hear that, good luck. I wish you the best. Love and light. Take care.